So here's what here we got this morning. All right, we got a rejected level here this morning at uh, 3215. What we want to do, guys and gals, is supply demand. Here's yesterday. We'll get into today's trading real quick. Yesterday, remember, here's how we want to trade this. Here was your demand line. Old demand becomes new supply. Old demand becomes new supply. It's a beautiful short we had yesterday right here at the uh, high. Old demand becomes new supply. So what you want to do is if supply breaks and the trend is down, you want to try to get short. There's your supply. Old demand becomes new supply. This is your short opportunity right here. There was your close below it. We had a full retracement on the five Simrenko. We had a big move down. Then it came down to the demand line. This came within one tick of my demand line. My demand line was here from the previous night. So not only did it call the bounce here, bounce again, break all the way down to the demand line, came within one tick of it, actually exceeded by one tick, came up. Then here we had a new fresh line that came out, fresh demand line. I had an M, M bottom, or sorry, W bottom, sorry. And then we came up again. And you're allowed to, you're allowed to trade the supply line. It happened near the close, and it tanked. Came right to my supply line again. I set these charts out to you, and we had a big move down. All right, the same thing happened on the S&P. Let me show you the technique that we want to do and what we're going to do today. S&P, let me bring it over. What we want to do is here was the supply line yesterday. Supply line, supply line, supply line, supply line, demand. S&P 500 futures. You want to look for full retracements. These are all full retracements down here. Add a break retest of these supply lines or demand lines. All right, so we want to look for a full retracement above 90%. Right here, break, retest, came within a couple ticks. Look how my symmetry dots came within a couple ticks of that. As long as you don't close, a whole body candle close above that supply line. That is a great level to short. Then it had another one. Broke through, retested, did not close above it by a body of the candle. The symmetry dots had what? Confluence again, another great sell. Then it had another one. Broke through my demand line. Old demand becomes new supply. Rotated back up. Never closed above it. Red reversal bar. There's another one. Then it had another one. Broke through, straddled it, never closed the whole body candle above it. Red reversal bar, down. Then we had a reverse, comes back up through with speed bars. Look at the speed bars. Less than two candle close. Look at the speed up here. These are beautiful speed bars. That's what we want to see. We want to cut through with speed. Less than two candle close inside of my trend box tells me it is a great market to look for a retracement. That is an ideal setup. Then we come through with speed on the demand line. Look at the speed. Less than two candle closes on my trend box. We get through it. We retest it. Doesn't close below it. Then we take off again. So this is what you're going to do all day long with trend. Break, retest, break, retest, break, retest. Green trend box. Moving averages up. Break, retest. I had a question. Leo had a question. One of our members in the room. What are the best time? Uh, what, what's the best situation to look for with moving averages? Do the moving averages have to be crossed up or down on all the time frames? Well, the time frame you're trading, you want the moving averages in your direction, and you want the trend box, the color your direction. So the trend box is red. So I want to sell this, keep selling this. Trend box is green. I want to keep buying this on a break retest because my three moving averages are all crossed below each other on the downside. 
my three moving averages are crossed above each other on this break retest. So you know the great trades, look at the moving average. My small moving average comes up. It gets a squeeze in the market right there. Still below all three. Great retest sell. Comes with one tick, goes down. Moving averages are below all three, retest. Below all three, retest. Then we go back up, moving averages above all three, retest. That's your best type of setup you're going to get, period. Move an average direction and color the trend box. Now the speed bars will help you assist you in knowing if there's speed behind the breakout. Speed bars are two candle close, two candle close inside of a closed trend box. All these circles are speed in the market. They're trying to mark the market down or mark the market up big. So we look for retracement shorts, retracement longs. Don't make it any more difficult than that. This system is very, very sophisticated, but very simple to see because what happens is the trend box gives you the direction and it gives you the speed. Our oscillator down below gives us the full retracement and our supply and demand lines gives us the exact area to look for a break retest. It's very, very accurate, so we do not want to take trades or look for trades if we break a level and we close a body of the candle on the opposite side. There's too many trade setups during the day, and we can be picky. We can be very picky about our trade setups. We need to be within a couple ticks of the demand supply line on the retest, and consequently, we do not want to close. So if I break through, if I break through here and I cut through, and I'm at a full retracement, if I close a whole body candle close above here before I get a red reversal bar or negative market delta up here, then it's a no trade. But it doesn't. Great trade setup, great trade setup, great trade setup, great trade setup. All qualified, all had speed, all had red trend boxes for sells, green trend boxes for buys, all had speed bars, all had full retracements. That's how you want to qualify a trade. Okay, we want to qualify in that scenario. We want to have moving average direction. We want to have color the trend box. We want to have the speed bars come in with a two candle close or less speed bar. We want to have a full retracement. We have negative market delta, and we must be within a couple ticks of my supply and demand line. If you're four, five, six, seven ticks away, no trade. If you close above it by a body of the candle, no trade. Be picky about your trade setups. There's too many setups during the day where we don't have to, Gerald didn't shut that off, we don't have to worry about finding trade setups. There's be a plenty of setups during the day. Plenty of setups. Okay, Gerald, shut that off, bud. So this morning's action, let's take a look. This morning's action, we have what? On the larger time frame on crude oil, it's caught this low down here almost with a tick at 6.45 this morning. I think it came up well, by one tick. Here's a break retest trade, another long on the long time frame. So the 5 sim caught a long there. Now came within one tick or exceeded by one tick here. Now we're long here again. right because it's based upon the larger time frame so to answer Leo's question this is 30 days back it's looking at, at, at data going 30 days back so this catches all the supply and demand on 30 days back where this one will catch three days back So this is a tradable level off of my larger time frame and no tradable level here off my smaller time frame yet. Now if we break through, retest 61, 57, then you got a move to the upside. Most of your trades are going to happen on the 5 sim.